The JFK Assassination, Uncovering the Truth Welcome to Conspiracy Theories and Unsolved Mysteries, where we delve deep into the murky world of secrets and cover-ups. In today's episode, we'll be uncovering the truth behind one of the most notorious events in history, the JFK assassination. Join us as we explore the evidence that suggests multiple shooters, a CIA cover-up, and the lingering mystery of Lee Harvey Oswald's role. Stay tuned to the end for a closer look at the enigmatic Umbrella Man and the questionable official investigation findings. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending content like this. Let's unravel the mystery together. Multiple shooters were involved in the JFK assassination. There are various theories surrounding the JFK assassination, including the possibility that multiple shooters were involved in the tragic event. This theory suggests that Lee Harvey Oswald did not act alone and that there may have been a larger and more complex plot behind the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. One piece of evidence that supports this theory is the acoustic evidence analyzed by experts. Acoustic experts have identified audio recordings that suggest there were at least four gunshots fired during the assassination, which is more than what Oswald's rifle could have fired in the time frame of the shooting. This raises questions about the possibility of other shooters being present at the scene. Furthermore, eyewitness testimonies have added fuel to the theory of multiple shooters. Some witnesses claim to have heard gunshots coming from different directions, indicating a coordinated effort by more than one gunman. Additionally, the trajectory of the fatal shot that struck President Kennedy has been analyzed by experts who argue that the angle of the shot could not have been achieved by a single shooter from the sixth floor window of the Texas School Book Depository. Despite the Warren Commission's conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, the theory of multiple shooters continues to intrigue researchers and historians. The presence of inconsistencies in the official narrative, along with the mounting evidence suggesting the involvement of additional shooters, keeps the debate alive and fuels ongoing attempts to uncover the truth behind the JFK assassination. The CIA may have been involved in a cover-up of the assassination. Speculation and conspiracy theories surrounding the JFK assassination have also extended to the possible involvement of the CIA in a cover-up of the events. One point of focus is the alleged connections between Lee Harvey Oswald and intelligence agencies, particularly the CIA. Some researchers argue that Oswald's time spent in Russia and his associations with individuals linked to intelligence agencies raise suspicions about his motives and potential ties to covert operations. Another area of interest is the actions of key figures within the CIA following the assassination. The agency's director at the time, John McCone, has come under scrutiny for his role in the investigation and the information that was shared with the Warren Commission. Critics claim that the CIA may have withheld crucial details or manipulated evidence to protect sensitive operations or avoid political fallout. The mysterious circumstances surrounding the destruction of certain documents related to the assassination have fueled suspicions of a cover-up involving the CIA. Reports of missing or destroyed files, particularly those pertaining to Oswald's activities and possible connections to intelligence agencies, have raised questions about the extent of the CIA's involvement in shaping the official narrative of the assassination. Additionally, the lack of transparency and cooperation from the CIA in releasing classified documents related to the JFK assassination has only deepened suspicions of a cover-up. Despite calls for full disclosure and transparency, the CIA has faced criticism for its reluctance to share all relevant information leading some to believe that there may be more to the story than what has been officially presented. Lee Harvey Oswald may not have acted alone. Numerous theories and investigations have cast doubt on the idea that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. One of the primary points of contention is the ballistic evidence, which some experts argue is inconsistent with Oswald being the sole gunman. Analysis of the trajectory of the bullets and the sequence of shots fired suggests that it would have been extremely challenging for Oswald, with his limited training, to carry out the assassination alone. Moreover, witness testimonies and acoustic analysis of the gunfire have raised questions about the number of shooters involved in the assassination. Some eyewitnesses reported hearing shots coming from multiple directions, 
contradicting the official narrative of a single shooter. Acoustic evidence, including recordings made at the time of the assassination, has been interpreted by experts to suggest the possibility of at least two shooters. The peculiar movements and behaviors of Lee Harvey Oswald before and after the assassination have also fueled suspicions of accomplices. Oswald's mysterious activities, including his visits to the Soviet and Cuban embassies in Mexico City prior to the assassination, have led researchers to speculate about possible connections to foreign intelligence agencies or other conspirators. Additionally, the quick arrest and subsequent murder of Oswald by Jack Ruby have contributed to the perception that there may have been a larger conspiracy at play. The Warren Commission's conclusion that Oswald acted as the lone gunman has been met with skepticism by many researchers and historians. The lack of a clear motive, inconsistencies in the evidence, and unresolved questions surrounding Oswald's background and affiliations have all contributed to the enduring debate over whether Oswald truly acted alone in the tragic events of November 22, 1963. The mysterious Umbrella Man figure raises suspicion. In the investigation of the JFK assassination, the figure known as the Umbrella Man has captured the curiosity of researchers and conspiracy theorists alike. This mysterious individual, who was seen holding an open umbrella on a clear day during the motorcade, has raised suspicion due to the unusual nature of his actions. The presence of the Umbrella Man near the location where the first shots were fired has led to speculation about his potential role in the events of that fateful day. One of the prevailing theories surrounding the Umbrella Man centers on a possible signal or symbol being conveyed through his actions. Some researchers suggest that the opening of the umbrella was a deliberate and prearranged signal to other conspirators involved in the assassination plot. The significance of the umbrella, its timing, and the positioning of the Umbrella Man have been scrutinized in an effort to decipher any hidden messages that may have been communicated. The identity of the Umbrella Man remains unknown adding to the intrigue and mystery surrounding this enigmatic figure. Despite efforts to identify and locate the individual through various means, including facial recognition technology and witness testimonies, the Umbrella Man's true identity continues to elude authorities and researchers. The lack of a definitive explanation for his presence and actions on that day has fueled speculation about potential links to larger conspiracies and motives behind the assassination of President Kennedy. The official investigation findings leave room for speculation and doubt. The official investigation findings of the JFK assassination have been subject to intense scrutiny and criticism, leaving many aspects of the case open to speculation and doubt. One of the key points of contention revolves around the single bullet theory, also known as the magic bullet theory, which posits that a single bullet caused multiple wounds to both President Kennedy and Governor Connolly. Critics argue that the trajectory and path of the bullet, as described in the Warren Commission report, raise questions about the feasibility of such a scenario and the physical evidence presented to support it. Moreover, the handling of the crime scene and the investigation itself have been called into question, with allegations of crucial evidence being mishandled or overlooked. The failure to properly secure and preserve certain elements of the crime scene, along with the swift conclusion of the investigation, has fueled skepticism about the thoroughness and impartiality of the official inquiries conducted into the assassination. Concerns about potential tampering with evidence or the suppression of crucial information have further eroded public trust in the findings. The discrepancies and inconsistencies in witness testimonies, photographic evidence, and autopsy reports have added layers of complexity to the official narrative of the JFK assassination. Conflicting accounts of the sequence of events, the number of shots fired, and the individuals present at the scene have sown seeds of doubt among researchers and the general public. The emergence of alternative theories and interpretations seeking to challenge the official version of events underscores the enduring legacy of uncertainty and debate that continues to shroud the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The JFK Assassination, Uncovering the Truth Curious to know more about the JFK assassination and other unsolved mysteries? Dive deeper into the world of secrets and cover-ups by exploring our channel for more mind-bending content. Hit that subscribe button and like this video to unravel more mysteries with us.